Good morning, everyone. Can I welcome you all to this ding for? We are um, also using for the first time as, as our digital users, as you'll see on the new platform with Remo, which I believe is fa fairly self intuitive. And I noticed many people in the previous um, hall were busy having some chat, etc. But I will just qu quickly remind some people of some of the basic functionalities of this new platform uh, which is basically you can move when you're in the main hall you can move across the whole screen by just clicking on the screen and your mouse will move it and you can see some of the lower tables who may be off your screen etc to join a table uh, or to join an individual if you click on the table in one of the spare spaces it'll actually get you to join the table uh, and your camera should automatically come on but just do, you do need to check on um that your mic is switched on as well um you can find out information about individuals on the table by just hovering above their name and clicking on that and it'll tell you about their contact details and organizations etc um now the way the room is designed you'll notice is there are some side tables which is where some of our spotlight speakers will be hosting a table if you have specific information you want to find from them or equally if you're looking forward to just a quiet one-to-one -one chat with someone with some specific information you want to get or some general catch-up um, about your business there's some single two uh, seater tables at the side um going through this moment now what we're going to do is we'll, we'll have a series of speakers just giving you uh, an outline of their business and what they can do for your business uh, and how your partnership could be really helpful um, for the, my colleagues who will be joining me on stage, what I will ask you to do is to switch on your mic and your camera and you'll automatically join me on the stage. And then when you're leaving your stage, again, switch off the mic and the camera and it automatically takes you off the stage. While you're talking, I'll switch off my mic so we don't get any feedback. If people have got specific questions, if you notice on the right of the screen, there is a q a section as well as a chat section if you put in your questions in the q a question my colleague verity will be manning those and we'll pick those up at the end to see if there's any specific questions and invite people to respond to some of those questions uh, at the end of the session um, you can also have general chat and private chat when you're in the main auditorium at the end of this process if you notice on the right hand screen if you click your chat function It'll give you the opportunity to either have a table chat with all of your colleagues around the table and you can just then type in a message there for which will be received by all. A private chat if you choose an individual name or if you want to just comment to everybody, then you'll see there's a general chat and that'll go to everybody. So um, I so said this is a fairly intuitive thing. We ourselves have noticed some people had some challenges uh, and this is the first time we're running our Ding network on the Remo platform. So I also asked you to uh um recognize there may be some teething issues which we will resolve quickly around that bit but if we do have any problems if you contact verity um she might be able to help you out straight away so without any further ado i'm going to invite my colleague hannah to come and talk to you about digital solutions who are hosting this event uh, and some of the staff and and the opportunities there so hannah if you want to come on stage that would be great Digital Solutions is uh, an ERDF funded um, and Chester University funded project up until June 2023. Um, so we had a phase one up till uh, December 2020 and now we've got a phase two up to June 2023. So we can support SMEs in the areas of uh, Shropshire and Telford and Rekin uh, with a minimum of 12 hours of fully funded support and longer term collaboration opportunities. Next slide please Verity. So the whole purpose of digital solutions uh, is to support SMEs with digital innovation, whether this is to solve issues or problems with either existing digital products, processes, or services, or the development of new ones. Um, examples may include identifying suitable platforms and supporting the movement of services online, such as learning courses, developing prototype um, internal systems, such as stock management, or the development of prototype apps for selling products and services. We can also help to identify funding opportunities that can support developments such as Innovate UK. Next slide, please, Verity. So 
In addition to this, in order to further develop your digital innovation, we have expertise available to provide advice and guidance to progress your product or service and support its development to market. These include looking at new market opportunities, reviewing current digital capabilities, evaluations of products and services, and identifying collaborative opportunities. There's also opportunity to work with a wider university through student projects. These would be supervised placements of students with businesses as part of their course who may be able to help you to resolve or find a solution to a digital related issue. Uh, next slide, please. So if you have an idea um, or would simply like to discuss how you may be able to get help from the project, then please get in touch with us via our website or through our business development managers, Nikki and Sarah, who are here today. So I'm going to invite Nikki and Sarah on to just introduce themselves to the team, to everybody, sorry, um, and then you'll know where they're going to be sitting um, at the networking bit. So if Sarah and Nikki want to just jump on and say hello. Hi, hi everybody. Um, quite a few of you will probably know me. Um, I'm Sarah, I'm one of business development managers on the project and I'm going to be around today. I'll try and move around tables, but if you want to know anything about the project or access to any of the support available through the university and, and um, resources there, please just get come over to me, have a chat. Um, also, I'll also post my details in the chat so that you can um, contact me after the event if you'd like to. Hi, I'm Nikki Ayton, the other half of Sarah, and don't want to repeat what she just said, but likewise, if you'd like to have a chat, we'll be around the room today, or if not on the digital solution tables. And yeah, look forward to speaking to you. Thank you both. Um, so we're now going to hear a few words from the digital solutions wider delivery team about what knowledge and expertise expertise they have to offer SOVs. Um, so Verity, over to you. Good morning, my name is Joe McArdle. I'm Director of Health and Medical Innovation at the University of Chester. I'm the Project Director for the Digital Solutions Programme, as well as adding managerial support and supervision to the project. I remain a registered clinician with the Nursing and Midwifery Council, provide evaluation, support to the team and to businesses in looking at how we can create pathways for the adoption and spread of their new services and products as well as looking how we network within the wider health and social care system. My personal interests are also relating to not just the application of technology, but how the skills of staff, service users and carers can be developed to maximize the effectiveness and usability of the tools that we have. In addition to the support that I can provide to the team and to your businesses, this program is hosted by the University of Chester. Open up the opportunities that our different academic expertise can make available to the communities of Shropshire, Telford and the Recon. Recognising that digital goes across many sectors, many products and can implement so many different services. It is for this reason the University of Chester through Digital Solutions can also offer advice on the different expertise its academics have. One such example is our Professor Basma Alahi, who is working very closely with the team. Her expertise has been focused in public health, nutrition and community engagement. She has provided support in the design of robust evaluation strategies for products, as well as connections to those on the front line working with the clients that benefit from the services your companies could offer. By being hosted by the Faculty of Business and Management and Chester Business School, also able to offer other academics who have very specific expertise in enterprise, in business development and other digital tools such as financial safety. This is just a small example of the academics that we have. I wish you all a successful morning. I really look forward to working with you through the team and in those instances where I can provide direct support in helping your business to grow and maximise the opportunity 
opportunities for them to engage with the wider system transformation that the recent pandemic has shown that we all need and will be available for conversations later on. Thank you. Hi everyone, my name is Paul Andrews. I am the leading research fellow for the Digital Solutions Project. I'm sorry I can't be with you today. I'm currently on annual leave, so sorry about that. But I've been asked to make a little video that explains uh, kind of who I am, what I do. Basically, I used to be a maths teacher and a computer science teacher. Um, for the last, gosh, um, best part of 20 years, I've been a professional learning technologist and an IT consultant working with all sorts of businesses, big and small, and educational establishments as well, um, helping people identify the right kind of technologies that will help them achieve their goals and then working with them to integrate the use of those technologies into their business and working practices. And that is pretty much what I do at the uh, Digital Solutions Project. So my role basically is to work with those businesses who have successfully applied for support um, and sit down with them and say, tell me a story, tell me where you wanna be, what you wanna be doing in you know, a year's time, 18 months time. And once they tell me those stories, I then sit down and basically find tools and technologies, sometimes paid for, sometimes free, but tools and technologies that they can use, they can integrate into their working practices to achieve their goals, to basically get them to where they want to be in that journey you know, that they've described. And that's pretty much what we do in terms of the short term support. And that, that's around about 12 hours of support, you know, that kind of like the consultation, then finding tools that they can use. And typically in most cases, that will result in a report that gets uh, generated and handed over to that small or medium sized business. If they then decide to adopt one or more of the solutions that we've identified in that report, then the business can apply for slightly longer term support. And if they are successful in that, then I will work with the businesses to actually integrate the use of their chosen tools and technologies into their working practices. So yeah, that's, that's pretty much what we do. So yes, I'm sorry I can't be there today, but if you do have any questions, I know my colleagues are on hand. And uh, if, yeah, if you do apply for support and are successful, then hopefully I will be seeing you very, very soon. But in the meantime, have a great event and I'll speak to you later. Bye-bye. Hello, I'm Stuart Brown. I'm owner and director of Evenwood Limited, which is a local business based near Shrewsbury, specializing in innovation consultancy. We were formed based on a couple of decades of experience of working on the boundary between research and industry, and really at the, the innovation face. And we've got experience across a broad range of activities covering things from new product development to ideation, access to finance and planning and communication. I'm lucky enough to be one of the consultants working on the digital programme through the University Centre Shrewsbury and for the last 12 months we've been supporting SMEs in Shropshire to take their digital innovations forward, helping them to access new markets, understand their planning and, and finances. With Evenwood you would get access to my expertise and my team's expertise and we take you through a process of helping you to understand what the fundamental benefits of your product are, help you to think about which markets to go to first, which markets to diversify into and how to do that. Evenwood has experience of working in across many sectors and we tend to specialise in technologies, engineering and science. We're very flexible in our approach and although we have a, a tried and tested method, we're always open to adapting that method to suit the needs of the individuals or the companies that we work with. In non-COVID times, I'm very happy to meet up and have a cup of coffee and, and to talk things through, but we're equally well set up to do virtual meetings and virtual collaborative workshops. So in summary, I'm Stuart Brown from Evenwood Limited. I really look forward to supporting you to grow your business through innovation. Good morning all. My name's Chris Goff from CGI Business Solutions. I'm supporting Digital Solutions Project, which is part of the University Centre Shrewsbury. My background is 31 years in IT, primarily with the public sector, delivering from a large corporation into the public sector. The clients that I've worked with include Ministry of Defence, HMRC, UK Hydrographics Office. I spent a lot of time working with them, delivering large programmes for them. In the later years, I was acting as a COO overseeing those, so I have a good mix of business and IT skills. And in 2017, I formed CGR Business Solutions. We provide business advice and support to SMEs. With my background and the team's background in IT, we can help with product evaluation, implementation strategy, and a number of other things in that space. The team all have IT backgrounds and cover a range from 
software development, infrastructure architecture and hardware design, and then into project and program management and all types of governance, data governance, sales governance, etc. etc. So if you'd like to learn more about that or how you can get involved in the program, if you'd like to contact myself, Chris Goff at CGR Business Solutions, or Nikki or Sarah at Digital Solutions Project, University Centre Shrewsbury. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Verity. That was really helpful and I hope people found it informative. Um, I noticed in the chat we've already had uh, one of the questions um, which is saying, you know, will we be sending out a fact sheet with all the contact details of the different supported contacts? Yeah, at the end of this session, we'll be sending out a, a general email as with Remo, which will have ideas about things which are going forward. But we'll also look at making sure that we put the contact details uh, onto the link, etc. So we'll we'll look at that and see what we can send out as part of the follow up email after this, uh, with the uh, connections to this presentation uh, for attendees anyhow. So there'll be one email straight away, uh, which is automatic, which will also tell you about some of our future events. But we will be sending a second email with links to these talks and these conventions, and that will we'll make sure that includes the contact details, etc. Um, so I'd like to take this opportunity to introduce some of the other uh, people we're working with uh, and we can connect you with. Part of this event is also allow that networking to find out um, colleagues who can actually help your business grow. Uh, and we've got a couple of them who are going to come and just talk to you a bit about their business uh, or their organization and how they can support them. They will all have their own specific tables at the side when we go back to the main auditorium. So if you do want to have a conversation with afterwards, all you need to do is click on one of the empty spaces on their table um if you want to speak to nikki and um sarah their table's right at the very very back um but also if you want to have a private one to want to chat with them a bit later on that's a, as i said before there are some just two people tables later on so i'm going to first i'm going to invite um Torkel goodwin from innovate uk Torkel is the principal business advisor for enterprise europe network which can help support businesses to innovate and to grow on an international scale. So Torkel, if I can ask you to come and join us, that's great, thank you. I'll put myself on mute. Yeah, I, I believe this is 60 seconds, so I'm gonna keep it nice and short. In the past eight months, Innovate UK have made over 420 grant awards in the Midlands region worth nearly 61 million pounds. Were you one of the companies that secured this support? Innovate UK are one of the largest providers of grant and financial support and have a comprehensive range of support services designed for innovative and research-based businesses. This ranges from the awards I've mentioned, knowledge exchange and collaboration, through to the wraparound support at Innovate UK Edge, Innovate UK's latest service. What Innovate UK Edge can provide is fully funded support on developing an application prior to submission to help maximize its impact and possible success, through to post-award support and mentoring to maximize commercial success. However, these awards and support are not for every business. They are competitions and they are criteria. If you think that Innovate UK support would be suitable for your business, then please come and speak to me after these presentations. My name is Torkel Goodwin. Torkel, that was great. Um, as well as um, our connections with other universities, as I said, we are University Centre Shrewsbury is part of the University of Chester. And as well as access to academics, we also have access to a whole range of other services. So I'd like to invite my, invite my colleague, Adam Crane, who's the Employer Engagement Coordinator for our Careers and Employability at the University of Chester. And Adam will come and talk to you a bit about some of the work that they can do to help support your business and include some of the work with students. Thank you, Adam. Great. Thanks, Joe. Appreciate it. Hi, everyone. My name is Adam Crane from the Employer Engagement Team here at the University of Chester. We're a central team within our careers and employability service, uh, and we exist to uh, to facilitate interactions between students, graduates, uh, and you, the businesses uh, slash employers. So we do that in a variety of ways, whether that be through workplace experiences like internships, uh, projects and placements, some of which we have funding for for businesses, uh, but also um, with events such as careers fairs, but also to support you in finding the best talent. Um, we obviously want you 
continue to to recruit University of Chester graduates and we'll do everything we can to help facilitate that. So um, I've got a table. Please come and please come and speak to me. Um, we've got a wealth of information we can send out to you. Uh, so I hope to uh, to speak to you very soon. Thanks, Joe. Thank you, Adam. Uh, let's see, universities are always competitive. Look, you even still were slightly faster than Aston. That was uh, well within the minute, so I appreciate that. <laughs> Thank you very much. Uh, if I could then invite my colleague, uh, Katie Thorne, to come to the table. Katie's a project lead for digital social care, something very close to my heart. One of the things the pandemic has shown us really in how we engage the important the technology and support in this. So I'm going to invite Katie to tell you a little about her project of that. Thank you. Thanks, Joe, and yeah, good morning, everybody. As Joe mentioned, I run a project called Digital Social Care. Digital Social Care is a partnership between six of the trade associations representing adult social care providers across the UK. We're funded by NHS Digital and NHS X and provide direct support and engagement to care providers around tech innovation. So that's sort of care homes, home care, supported living, a whole range of social care services. Uh, always really interested to talk to people about interoperability between health and social care systems and pathways, uh, data and cyber security and digital skills for social care, um, and actually just anything to do with tech innovation. While I'm based in Shrewsbury, we do work uh, across all of England, so I'm just really happy to have conversations and please come join the table if I can help in any way. Thanks very much. Thanks, Katie. I always thought social care was a cutting edge, and I could tell that with the fact that even you beat the University of Chester with that one minute timer. So thank you for that pitch. That was brilliant. I look forward to catching up later. Colleagues, I'd also like to invite um, one of our other partners, uh, universities, University of Wolverhampton, uh, who are in the area, Mandy Swain, who's the business advisor for their Solvit programme. If Mandy, if you could come up on stage um, and we can talk a bit about the uh, work that you're doing around supporting small and medium enterprise organisation the adoption of digital technologies. Welcome. Hi, morning everyone. Thank you for inviting me. Um, I work for the Solve Digital Enterprise Project, which um, helps B2B SMEs and startups to implement emerging technology as a route to growth. Managed by the University of Wolverhampton Health and Recon Council, it offers 12 hours of fully funded consultancy with specialists and academics with the opportunity to progress to further R&D. Um, the kind of tech we cover is um, artificial reality, mixed and augmented reality, big data and analytics, IoT and sensors, machine learning and AI, cyber, cyber robotics and automation and this technology. If you have an idea, a challenge, a new product, and you want to access bespoke, fully funded, one-to-one -one support, please get in touch with either myself or Miriam, who are here today on a set. And we offer quite a flexible approach, so you can maybe have a feasibility study, um, a digital roadmap, or focus on a particular issue that you have. So that's me, Mandy Swain, from the University of Wolverhampton Health Freaking Council for the Digital Enterprise Project. Ah, eek. <laughs> Thank you, Mandy. Almost the spot of one minute there. Brilliant. Yeah. yeah. And it's great. And if you Thank look, businesses, we're all the same working here to support you. And actually, good businesses, use some of the support that solved you, use some of the support we got. Get double the bucks for your money and use Aston. You can help actually get all this support for you. So I welcome you. And thanks, Mandy. We, we, to reassure Thank you, you, we all want to work closely together to help your business to grow. As, well, colleagues, then, um, those are the key speakers are invited to have a chat with you say so i think part of the importance today is actually having conversations with individuals um so really um we're going to go into the main room in a second just before we go to that network opportunity um look firstly i want to thank all of my uh, other speakers who are willing to come in pitch themselves against hannah's timer uh, and beat the clock i really welcome that and those who've contributed to the making up the videos etc um I will just will highlight some other future events which will be on that email listed, but there's a couple of key ones um, which are coming up. Firstly, working with Shropshire Council, there is Tech 7 on the 16th and 17th of June, which will look at how technology can help us tackle the greatest challenge in human history. Really focusing on the role of technology and innovation has to play in our efforts to reduce carbon footprints. Look at how we can help Shropshire achieve net zero and really focus on, especially with Earth Day tomorrow, this, you know, global sustainability, the impact in mitigating the impacts of climate change. So Tech 7 is a free event um, which can be booked by the Tech 7 event and we'll have details being run by Shropshire Council. 
as a steward himself, who you met earlier on, he's got a webinar on developing digital protocol service on May the 26th. Again, you'll see the, the link and you can book through our event, Bright. And we've also got a webinar next week working with one of our other colleagues, Ellie from Treasure Times. So there'll be lots of things coming in. The links to these things are in the general chat you'll see on the right hand side that Rowdy's put in. Um, but make the most of all this support, which can be there to support you. Really, I want to thank you for listening to all the different speakers and Hannah will now send us out into the main area and you can then move yourself around the room and find tables about which people who you want to engage with and can help you. Thank you very much, everyone. I wish you a pleasant uh, and constructive discussions next. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm.